Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh yeah, yeah. I was at this party. It was a Christmas party about four or five years ago, maybe longer, maybe six, seven years ago. And uh, my wife worked for a, a company, a corporate company, and I had an irrigation company. And on the way that, it was on December 23rd, if I remember right, because it was the anniversary of my first DWI, and I was driving down the road, and I, was, I had a crew waiting on me, and I had the, truck, the pipe truck, and I'm coming down Hebron Road over in Carrollton, and I round the corner of Hebron, right where the church is and the railroad tracks, and there's a pigeon standing right there. I said, well, he'll fly, he'll fly, he'll fly. And as I'm coming along, and I've got my coffee in my hand, I went, and all my pipe flew off the racks, and it just went on either side of this pigeon, and it went all over the railroad tracks, there was pipe everywhere, and I was like, Fuck. And so I pulled over, and I got out, and I walked up that pigeon, I tried to kick him, he just kind of moved back a little bit. It's just got a true story. So that, that's a suicidal pigeon. <laughs> So later that night, I was sitting there in, at the corporate party. I don't wear suits very often, but I had on my nice little suit and tie and everything. And I'm in the restroom, and there's three guys at stalls, and there's four stalls total. So I go to the last stall, and it's one guy coming. He goes, so guy next to me, what do you do? I'm the purchasing. Oh, really? What do you do? Logistics. What do you do? Oh, I'm a sales. What do you do? I said, I'm a musician. And I went, oh. <laughs> Stand on the street, play chicken with traffic. It's time to knock your green. All that too, what you trying to prove you sitting up. So I sat down on the curb and I opened up my sack, all of the fun off of my big Mac. After all, the dude come with three. He said, no thanks, man, I'm allergic to sesame seeds. that fast but I want to say that burger made the conversation last. Right was on the wall, sitting rush hour again. Now it's still a disaster. My little feathered friend. So I joined. That's right, I walked out in the middle of that street. And sat down there and sat fishing on the wall concrete. Fairly dead and smooth, but I didn't care. I was on a mission to save a brother in despair. I said, you had a rough life, I guess. He said, I'm a pigeon. What do you think, dumbass? He said, my life is cursed. I don't even have a mess. And everywhere I go, I leave behind a mess. And he told me his story. thought about it, but I'm sure it's pretty bad. He said, we're at the bottom of the food chain as far as birds go. I forgot more about ugly than you'll probably ever know. <laughs> he said, people don't take it serious, and I don't know the reason. When's the last time you heard, hey man, so open that pigeon seat? You never see a pigeon on a stamp or dollar bill with a flag and all the branches or some symbol of goodwill? He said, yeah, you got a point. <laughs> He said, when I was younger, I fell in love with this chick. She was graceful, easy to look at, had a wingspan, wouldn't quit. When I first met her, I tried to call myself off as a dove. But I'm eventually Mother Nature robbed me of my first true love. You see, I started putting on the weight and my feathers changed color. And almost overnight, I developed a spouse known order. I knew it was only a matter of time, but she lost interest, so I bade farewell. My fair weather princess. No walk in the park, and you never feel at home no matter where you are. He said, Yeah, man, I know the feeling is hard to fit in. He said, What do you do for a living? He said, I'm a musician. He said, Man, I thought I had a bad. <laughs> I began to tell my story of how I understood about being looked down upon by everyone in the neighborhood. I know sooner started talking, that little bird flew away. I've lost the attention of bitter crowds. I really came to play. Think in some small way I played a chance. Getting that pigeon back on speed again. Sometimes all it takes is sympathetic gear. Sometimes it just takes a story you're willing to share. And every now and then, when I feel like quit, I think about this old story about that suicidal pigeon. It's kind of like Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> 
Five hair man, or boy. I think I need him. Silver when you fall Going out everything you know Just make a blessing 